All right, so here we go. We're going to play our hot cross buns rhythm on open D string here on some open strings. And we're going to stick with hot cross buns because we know it. And hopefully we've been practicing our bow hold and we feel very comfortable getting the hand into position here uh, with the bow. I also recommend that you use some tape on your bow so that we have a target here for how much bow we're going to use. By limiting the amount of bow and by using this very specific spot, it forces us to get the weight of the arm into the bow correctly, okay? Um, and just helps us with tone production. And you're gonna, as a beginner, it's gonna help ensure that you get a much better sound because the arm weight and really getting this arm heavy and relaxing it can be uh, one of the most difficult things in the beginning for beginners. And so the tape helps by giving us a very small amount of bow to use here. All right, so here we go. And let's just remind ourselves, sorry, of the rhythm. Uh, let's just say it together. Ready? Hot cross buns, hot cross buns, one a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. I'm going to do that on the open string. Let's do it together. Here we go. One, two, here we go. And. <laughs> I stayed between my tapes here uh, and didn't go past. Okay, if you go a little bit shorter, that's okay. All right, the idea is to use a small amount of bow so that we get this weight going. Let's do it again together. One, two, here we go, and. <laughs> That's awesome. We're on our way. Let's do it on the A string now. Here we go. One, two, ready, and. Good. Do it with me again. So as always, to help your practice be more efficient, I've made some practice loops for these. You can check those out on the Cello Online School or see the links in the description or links below this video. Use the loops. They're great uh, for uh, giving you lots of repetitions without having to rewind or reset anything. Uh, please use those to help uh, improve your cello playing, help improve your rhythm. All right, so you have that constant example of what to listen for and a great tone to listen for. And in the next video, in this part of the course, we're going to talk about what to listen for, okay, while you are playing Arco to ensure that you really are getting a good tone, getting the arm weight into that open string. And what, <clears throat> and what are we listening for when we are? And what are we listening for while we are? Let's just maybe do that.